Hi, welcome to this video of Live API Creator. Modern systems require API-based backends to support mobile and web apps, partners, and internal systems. And the business needs these systems fast. The problem is, it's not. Building API-based backends is seriously time-consuming and complex. So, LAC provides point-and-click, production-ready API creation, including filtering, pagination, optimistic locking, and nested documents. But the API is only the tip of the iceberg. A complete backend also requires logic and security. For that, LAC provides reactive logic, spreadsheet-like expressions that are 40 times more concise than conventional code. These address update logic and row column security, fully extensible with server-side JavaScript. For integration, you can combine multiple databases and use Webhook APIs to integrate systems. Your APIs can handle multiple forms of data, including SQL, Apache HBase, REST SOAP services, and ERP systems such as Salesforce and SAP. Finally, Data Explorer is an automatically created web app for back office data maintenance, testing, and prototyping. We'll build some APIs in just a moment, but first, some quick architectural background. LAC consists of the API Creator, a browser-based UI for defining APIs, logic, and integration. The API Server, a flexible, scalable API execution engine. The Data Explorer, a dynamic UI created for data interaction and exploration. And the Admin Database, which stores the definitions gathered by the API Creator. Okay, there's three ways to create your API. Most basically, create an empty API and just enter code. We define a function. We can enter our JavaScript using code completion with an argument. We can test in the REST lab. Hmm, it's not totally working. We can debug it to break and step and spot our misspelling. So, basic API creation is simple. Enter your code, test it, debug it. No messing with roots and complex configuration files. For database APIs, the patterns are clear and the work is high. We need more of a lawnmower than a cuticle scissors. That brings us to our second approach for API creation. For new database systems, use the Data Explorer. Create the app and the system creates the database. Use the Data Explorer app to define the tables, fields, and related tables. Not only has the system created the database and the app, it's also created an API. So, without database knowledge, business experts can create interesting systems that are consistent with IT architectural standards. Finally, you can connect to existing databases. API Creator scans your schema to discover basin view tables and procedures. It then creates a default API with endpoints for each. And it's running. No compile, no deploy. You can use the REST lab to test your API, in, including get, put, post, and delete. Your endpoints are the tables, views, and stored procedures. APIs are production class. Filtering and sorting are built in, as well as pagination and optimistic locking. This is what enables you to create production class APIs in hours instead of weeks or months. API documentation is automatic. Prose documentation, sample code, and interactive swagger docs are automatically provided. Shape your API with custom resources to provide a database abstraction layer, 
simplify app dev, and reduce latency. It's point and click. Choose your data, choose your sub-resource for nested documents, and choose alias your attributes. And it's live, fully executable. You can integrate multiple data sources. Here's an example joining across databases. You enable that by defining multiple data sources, including relationships between them. You can even join in data from MongoDB. When required, you can take control. Use the resource type as shown here to control the SQL, integrate data from other servers, and create your own endpoints. Automatic data maintenance apps are provided directly from the schema automatically. Search for the desired data, see related data with master detail, tabs and drill downs, and show related data with predictive joins. Use author mode to control how and when fields are shown, colors and fonts, and so forth. You can even make updates with lookups, including error handling. Which brings us to update logic. Integrity is enforced with a combination of reactive logic and server-side JavaScript. You can code JavaScript events for each table using an automatically created object model. Your JavaScript can call out to loadable Java and JavaScript libraries. For reactive logic, you attach rules to tables and columns. You specify them via forms, here for the customer balance, and JavaScript, here deriving the line item amount. This logic implements credit check, a requirement in placing an order. There are several important aspects to reactive logic that make your life easier. First, automatic invocation. In conventional programming, bugs can occur when code isn't called. In reactive logic, the system invokes your logic when the referenced data changes. Since it never forgets, quality is increased. Automatic ordering. The major chore of maintenance slash iteration is inserting new code in the proper location. But with reactive, the system executes the logic in an order that reflects their dependencies. This really simplifies maintenance since dependencies are recomputed whenever you change the logic. SQL is fully automated. The API server automates and optimizes your SQL. It prunes the rules that don't apply to each request, and it optimizes the logic that is required. For example, this sum results in a one-row update, not an expensive select sum. Net-net, just these five lines solve all these use cases, replacing literally hundreds of lines on conventional database Java or trigger code. That's a remarkable 40x improvement in conciseness, an executable specification. Complexity handling is critical. It's handled like this. First, your rules and events can always call out to loadable libraries, so there's no barriers. Second, reactive logic is remarkably powerful. These examples illustrate simple solutions to classically complex transactions, such as the allocation of an order to a customer's outstanding invoices or a bill of materials. And third, you're not limited to CRUD verbs. You can define functions, associate them with tables or resources, and invoke them like this. Systems integration is well handled by events. You can extend reactive logic with server-side JavaScript. Row events fire when a table is changed, passing the row to your JavaScript event handler. Here, if an order has a supplier, we transform it based on this custom resource and post to our supplier using a shared library routine. Reactive Logic also provides fine-grained security. You can specify a pluggable identity provider that integrates with your existing corporate security for authenticating users. It returns a list of roles. For each role, you can define permissions that enforce fine-grained security at the row and column level. Both logic and permissions apply to all custom resources that reference that table. So, to summarize, you get remarkable agility in creating complete API-enabled backends. 
point-and-click API creation with required production-level services. Reactive Logic addresses update and security. 40 times more concise, high quality, maintainable, and extensible with JavaScript. Integration with webhook services and multiple database APIs. And instant data maintenance apps, customizable with author mode. Thank you.